Stoicism changed my life. Stoicism saved my life. You know, if more black males from the hood like me were taught as little boys to be stoic, the crime, the crime rate would drop by 50%. Probably more than that, probably like 80%. If more black boys in the hood were taught to be stoic, we wouldn't have niggas reacting and shooting another man over the dumbest shit. If stoicism was taught to young black boys from the hood, the prison industrial complex wouldn't be filled. Prisons would be half empty. We're not taught stoicism as young black boys from the hood. We're taught to be emotional. We're taught to be emotional. We're taught to react. We walk around with all this bravado as young black men, especially teenagers. Oh, if a nigga step on my shoes, nigga, I'm gonna beat that nigga ass. Oh, if a nigga disrespect my hood, nigga, I'm gonna air that nigga out. Disrespect your hood. Your mama don't even own that house, nigga. Y'all live on section eight. You don't even own the hood. You don't even own property in the hood that you're willing to die for. Because your life, you feel like it has no meaning, but you'll never come out and say that. You'll never come out and say that. That's too much like right. Young black males from the hood, we're the most arrogant motherfuckers in the world. Arrogant. Can't tell us shit. Know everything. Teenage, man, you wanna you wanna see the most arrogant nigga in the world? Go to the hoods of America, the 16 and 17 year old nigga that's getting a couple of dollars in his pocket. Oh, you can't tell him shit. You know why I don't know what I'm talking about? Because nigga, 20 years ago, that was me. 23 years ago, when I was 16, that was me. The year 2000, 23 years ago, that was me. You couldn't tell me shit. I'm making a couple of dollars in my pocket, nigga. Uh, I ain't no punk. I ain't gonna let no nigga disrespect me. Had it not been for stoicism, I would probably be in jail right now. There have definitely been times in my life where, especially around 17, 18, I thought about shooting somebody. I thought about shooting a nigga because the nigga was being disrespectful to my family. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This motherfucker almost hit my car. God damn. But, Jesus, nigga, do you not know how to park straight? Anyways, there were times in my life when I definitely thought about that shit. I definitely thought about shooting somebody that was disrespectful to my family, and it would, I would probably just now be getting out of jail. If getting out at all, might not have gotten out. You know what I'm saying? But through stoicism, the practices of stoicism, I was able to be think more rationally. One of the principles of stoicism is not to think with emotion as a man, not to think emotionally. Because that emotional decision that you make can end you up in jail for 25 to life over something stupid. And you know how many niggas are sitting in prison right now because for life because they ain't no punk? You know how many funeral homes are filled right now with niggas below 25 because they wasn't no punk? Bruh, it ain't worth it. Life is long. If you come from the school of thought where life is short and this pessimistic way of living. Now see that, I get that when you're a young man. When you're 16 and you're young and all your friends around you are starting to die. That's a reality for young black men from the hood is by the time you're 16, 17, 18, you've seen friends of yours, peers of yours die tragically, murder, 
You seen friends of yours get locked up, man, coming home. I got niggas that got locked up when I was 17 who just came home in the last two, three years. When you are given that type of reality, you look at life with a very, very skewed way, you know, very pessimistic, very emo, emotional, right? But at a certain point, you got to grow up and think with a more optimistic way of looking at life. You got to be balanced. You got to have a balance of both. You got to have a balance of pessimism and optimism, but you don't want to be too much of the the other. I have been a staunch pessimist. 20 years ago, I was a staunch pe pessimist. You know, in 2003, when I was 19 years old, I was a staunch pessimist. I had so much shit going on in my life. I had a right to be pessimistic. Young nigga, if you watching this, you 18, 19, 20, and you got a, you got a situation at home that is not favorable. You got a stepfather that is a dope fiend and he verbally and physically abuses your mom. <clears throat> you got a mother that is a drug addict and she don't, she told you she don't give a fuck about you. I understand that pain that you got you thinking like, man, don't nobody give a fuck about me. But I'm going to tell you what can save you from reacting in these streets. When you walk around with all this pessimism and something happens, something happens, you are hit with a surge of disrespect. Because for a lot of young black men, the only thing they have is their self-respect. You're so quick to lash out at another black man that look like you because you hate where you are in your life. And you're willing to pull a trigger and kill somebody or even rob somebody that look like you because you hate yourself. You need to start learning the practices of stoicism, learning to be resilient, learning to have an empathy for others, learning to not looking for the outcomes of things. Because when you look for the outcomes of things that you're working on and you champion the outcomes, it leads to more stress. Living within the moment. The main things that I've learned from stoicism that have saved me a lot of stress is living within the moment. Mindfulness. When you are working out, not just working out for the sake of working out, but working out and being present in those reps of hitting the bench press or the deadlift or bicep curls or whatever you're doing, being mindful not worrying about what's going to happen later on in the day. Not worrying about potential outcomes. When you are hit at the face of adversity, rather than react, you think. Because stopping to think for just 10, 15 seconds can stop you from doing something that can send you to jail for the rest of your life or get you killed. Stoicism young man that has saved your life it saved my life if it wasn't for stoicism i would have shot somebody at 17 and i'd be sitting in jail right now and i'm not lying to you i'm being brutally honest but the fact of the matter is i had a father that was a strong man and on top of that he taught me to think stoic you gotta be cool under pressure baby and understand that i get it man you it's a lot of shit you got stacked against you. I understand that. I'm not one of these niggas that's 39. I'm talking down to you because you're 19, 20. I've been 19 and 20. I know what it is to be 19 and 20 and feel like the world is caving in on me and it's me against the world like Tupac's second album. You know what I'm saying? I know what that shit feel like. But at the end of the day, if you want to live and live long and live prosperous, you need to learn the ideals and the laws of stoicism. Think before reacting. Stay present in the mindfulness of where you are. Do everything with mindfulness practice.
and you will live and, and you'll start to turn your pessimistic view of life into an optimistic one. If you are anything like me, where you are extreme, extremely intense, and I used to be the most negative nigga in the world, man. You have the power to turn that extreme into extremely positive. And not staunch positive, but positive enough to being like, you know what, I'm here. I got some obstacles against me, but I'm gonna stay within my present. I'm gonna work within my present and I'm not gonna worry about the outcomes because I'm gonna just work hard. And whether I get this deal or not, I used to stress myself out like that. I used to be like, damn, okay, I'm gonna make $15,000 this month. And I would only make seven, you know? And I would stress out over it. Whereas just being present within the moment. And when you're present within the moment and you don't count the trophies, you don't have a party every goddamn time you make some money. You stay within the moment and mindful. The, the victories start to add on in a, in a much greater capacity. So stay stoic, my niggas. Straight up.